Hello. Hopefully that's working. There's enough of a delay that I have to check everything's working sound-wise before I start. Yes. <clears throat> There's my voice in all its glory. Hello, Bamboozle Belay. Thank you ever so much for coming in. Five o'clock in the morning as well. Um, my traditional, you should still be asleep. It's not been too bad. It's beginning to warm up a li little bit, Bamboozle Belay. I think it's... A max of 16 or 17 today. We've had it, we've been shivering. The houses here aren't really built for the cold. Um, and so when it gets down to five or six degrees, uh, you're going to toss an extra doona on the bed because it gets a bit, bit parky. Do you know what I mean? Right. I think that looks good. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, like, like, it's 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 been those extra few degrees make a big difference. Right, where were we? Should we have a look? And how does it look? I always have to check that I don't have the resolution messed up too, because that's the next thing that happens. Um. It looks, it looks good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super, super cool. I reckon we're ready to play some XCOM. It's a miracle. Good. Well, uh, from what, I don't know where you are, Bamboozle Belay, but I assume you're in the Northern Hemisphere somewhere. And it sounds like you guys have had a warm summer. And it's, of course, just August now, right? Where were we? Oh, yes, it was very exciting last time, wasn't it? Lots and lots of movies going on as well. Right, okay, so... Research, we are terrorizing an ethereal, trying to get all that lovely brain stuff out of it. Hello, mighty Patapon. Now, there's a name I haven't seen in a while. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, you know, you're lucky to be in Aberdeen, Bamboozle Ballet, because that way it never really goes above 24 or 26, to be honest. Yeah, I'm oh, glad you're in some classes. Um, and yes, I have heard just how bloody horrible it's been in the US. You'll also be glad to know is that your character is still alive, Bamboozle Belay. It's been a close run thing from time to time, I've got to be honest. And the mighty pat upon you too. Your, your cat character's now a really high level mech. Here you go. 9,000 points. 32 missions. Wow, you've killed a lot of people. Yes, still alive, but we've now got a little bit of a decision to make before we do anything else um, XCOM related. There's a little bit of a trap that was um, landed last time we were streaming. So, yeah, I mean... Uh, Hangers looking good. Just doing my general walk around and kicking the tires before we decide what we're going to do. I think South America could move some of those fighters off it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. We've got two firestorms in Europe. That's nice to have. Can't argue with that probably make more sense to have three of them to tell you honestly so we might move that asian one into europe as well apart from that maybe it might make sense to move some of these laser cannon guys over according to my nerd sheet we've had most of the ufos for this year for this month already so that's could get a bit quiet like I said in the title, we are getting 
hopefully near the end game. We're going to have to get uh, some more psychic people, but I'm hoping to keep it under control here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some good. We have some good, good guys around. Okay. Well, the first mission is where I was saying the decision really comes in. It's this one. Contact detected. This is definitely a trap. Uh, I had a I had a little look through um, XCOM Companion earlier, and yeah, when you've got 52 crew size, it's a trap, which makes it a bit tricky for me because I'd really like the resources in this UFO a lot, but I really don't want to have anybody hurt, and I don't want to have to repair any kit that gets hurt as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the very definition of a clown car. Plus, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure that you can't depend on the hyperwave relay 100%. Just because this is all the races it's showing doesn't mean that there aren't a couple stuffed into this UFO. And this is why I'm a bit suspicious. There's no outsiders mentioned on here at all. Which is possible that you could have a mechtoid, sectoid commander pod. This is possible. Floaters, cyber disc, seeker. It doesn't sound that horrible, but among this is going to be a monster pod. And I just don't know whether I really want to face this or not. X, the aliens have 41 resources. If they get this, it'll get them up to 91. The question is... I think I'm going to leave this one away. I think that it's too much of a risk. Exactly, Bamboozle Belay. That makes me, frankly, a little bit concerned. Because when this happened before... We suddenly found ourselves with a double ethereal and six muton elite pods. And nobody wants that. Well, I don't. It might be quite entertaining to walk for watch. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let these guys go. It does mean we might get some more meld later on too, I don't know. So yes, uh, we're going to cowardly let this trap go by. I hope I made the right choice here. Oh, hello. So that's that's a terror ship in China. So they're planning a terror mission in China, are they? Interesting. We're going to have to try and shift something over to China bloody quick. Well, we've got two... Oh, no, we, we have two firestorms there. We should be able to give the assault carrier a warm welcome, which would be good. So yeah, it's very cowardly, but I think I'm definitely going to leave that. I mean, at this stage of the campaign, it's not it's not worth the risk. It really isn't. Contact detected. I mean, shit, we could even try and shoot this down as well, but it's probably asking too much. Shooting this down might even be wiser, though we've had some fun times trying to fight terror ships. Let's see if we don't get a um, assault carrier. Yep, bye-bye, transport. Aircraft transfer complete. Okay, so what, what's that done? Threat level is still very high. They got 40 resources from that landing. So they're still... I'm still keeping them kind of under control. I don't think... It's not that we're waiting for the final mission, though that was kind of the title Mighty Pat upon. It's more like... We are... We've still got some Psy experience to go, and I would still like to get some some resources... But I don't want to get anybody banged up, to be honest. And 
we do have several abductions to look forward to and they can get quite nasty anyway. From Germany. No, I don't think so, Germany. Though they are panicked. Maybe I, maybe I should give them what they want. Let's have a look at Germany. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will give you those. It's quite expensive, but all the same. That should help with you guys. Nigeria, Mexico, South Africa, and Argentina. Not too much there. Okay, onwards then. That's great. We've got some alloys back. Oh, wow. So we've got another Master Sergeant through. That's really good news. Right, we're going to have a look so I can remember. Mitch needs four more missions. And Baba G Day needs five. I'd, I'd like to get one of these guys up to Scion. That, that would be kind of cool. What else? Um, Fatima could go in in a bit. And Mustafa, you could go in as well. I know that I managed to injure somebody just recently. Justice, you don't, aren't ready. Yeah, poor Olinette's not going to be in for a while. So, yeah, we might toss... We've got to keep doing this, even though I'm hoping that we're, we're nearing the end of the campaign. Just keep cycling troops through it. That's great. So now we've got two tier 3 mech suits. I don't think I've ever managed to afford so many. Yes, I know. It's that. It's one of the concerning things. I know we're going to be facing a really nasty abduction. It's 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 time for it. Um, with huge amounts of muton elites, for example. Oh, our Peter's finally cycled through as well. That's, that's two good lucky ones going. It makes me wonder whether I should spend some more money on getting some endgame options as well. Especially if we're going to be having a really heavy duty terror mission. So we've got nine Titan armor. So I would like to build another Archangel armor if I could. And I think we have enough kit to do it. Great. Great. Ideally, I'd like four Arch Archangel Armors, but that's maybe asking a lot. Plasma Cannon, no. I was kind of looking to see about the armor as well. Battle Computers, we're probably, you know, we're too low on meld. I could get another core armoring going. That's it. So eventually we'll have four mechs with core armoring, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's also running out of meld, Mighty Patapon. Is that I would like, you know, jumpy legs is quite a handy and useful one to have, but you know that if you're going to go mech heavy, you're going to get limited there. And we are going to need meld for you know the end game items as well if 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 we get there and I, we have a little stock of meld i might toss a few people and give them some gene mods but at least at the moment it it's it's not it's not been necessary shall i put it that way it's like even a gun link is something i'm kind of hesitating to buy now no we will see how we get on with meld collection the rest of the month Contact detected. Well, here we go. This is what I think is the third of the three or four scouts we're going to do. I would love to shoot this down and not blow it up, but it is long war, late game, and it tends to be a bit ruthless. We're in pursuit. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting option. I just I just love mechs so much. Are you gonna blow up? Are you gonna blow up on? Yes. There we go. Typical. That unfortunately increases the threat level, but doesn't really give us very much. Oh well. Yeah, you you can do that. They they have some they do have some handy ones, right? I mean, I I could totally see the use of of some of the gene mods. If for example, you can you can have ones that reduce the which which reduce the bla uh, bleed out timer, so you don't have to use scout collars. That'd be kind of cool. Hello, Atacob. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, I, I don't know Bamboozle Ballet about adding extra things to it. I, I was talking to some another streamer earlier, and I think ideally I'd like to try and beat this relatively virgin, vanilla Long War. Though I do have a whole bunch of quality of life mods, so it's not really that either. Okay, that's targeted. Japan. I don't know if I want to give Japan this. I mean, it is money, but I'm not sure. I think we will say no to that. I might actually build another uh, armor set out of chrysalids, so we'll, we'll think about that. Their panic is, well, almost non-existent, so if it's India, I'd say sure. Yeah, Atacob, I, I do intend, not now, I mean, hopefully not now, but I do intend to try out Training Roulette one time. It makes, I think it would make the game a bit more random, which could be fun or it could be really frustrating. That's it. We've got our ethereal interrogation sorted. So we're now able to hopefully get somebody to start training and mind control if we can get it going. I might do an analysis of the overseer first just so if we have to shoot one down it's a little bit easier to do so and then yeah we're gonna try shooting through wow i told you things would start getting quiet there was a lot of missions in the first few days of the of the month and now everything slowed down a little bit of course we're going to get back-to-back -back terror missions or something like that Okay, now we know about overseers. Whoops. Let's start a new one. And that's going to be Alien Command and Control. That's going to get I us. I accept the fact that there could be exposition. risks involved in studying this new alien device. But the enemy leaves us with no other choice. Right, I mean, uh, uh, Bamboo, I, I think. I think, you know, meaning that you can't put. Uh, well, you can put gene mods on Psy Soldiers, can't you? I think you can. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a bit moot because I've just never had enough Mel to do it. Maybe I shouldn't have sold so much early campaign, but I really needed the money then. Yeah, I, I've been wondering about that too, is that if I ever, ever come back to Long War after this, I'm going to definitely play around with it quite a bit just like you said to get rid of some of the annoyances or i should just start playing long war with the chosen like everybody else's it does look interesting okay we've almost managed to run through all our illyrium as well oh here we go this is what you reckon this is going to be a trap too it's about it's almost a one in three chance actually three and a half Let's see. Contact detected. 15. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, Atacob, I mean, it's, trust me, it's not deliberate. Um, well, maybe a little bit. Uh, I do keep thinking back about the fact that this has been going on for more than a year now and wonder where all the time has gone. But uh, it'll be, it'll be, be a strange thing to actually finish the campaign in the end. Hopefully, taps for mica or manufactured wood, because uh, we're not there yet, and it's certainly not guaranteed. 
Okay. Um, Thin Man Seeker, Sectoid Commander, Sectoid, Mectoid, Outsider. It looks pretty standard. So 13, two pods. So a pod of Thin Men with Seekers and a pod of Mectoids. We're definitely going to go here and hopefully get some some goodies out of it. Yeah, I mean, Xenonauts 2. There's a bunch of games, Mighty Pat upon, that I haven't gone through that are on my um, to-do list. It's like two years ago now, almost. I bought a whole bunch of stuff on GOG. You know, which are supposed to be classic games everybody should play, and I haven't got round to them yet. Now, I do intend to do that. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, I think we're going to use an Invisi Scout, so D Mayer's going to stretch his legs here. We're going to bring along a sniper for sure. I'd still like to try and get my snipers up to Gunnery Sergeant if I could. So I reckon that means Celine, you're you're definitely going in now. Yes, there's. Uh, I think with um, a lot of the giveaways uh, from the various platforms and you know sales, I have a big backlog. You, you know, I mean, there's there's a whole bunch of games which I've which I've never played, and I, I do intend to do that. So, some of them are like, you know, um, what I was thinking is, hopefully I'm not going to crash the game. I'm just having a look. Maybe I should try and share my screen. Is um, just going through what I've got installed on my machine and haven't run yet. Uh, let's have a think. Um, yes, there's... Uh, um, Civ 6, never played. Rimworld, never played. Uh, Planescape Torment is supposed to be great. I've never played it. Mist, well, that's probably not. Mass Effect, I have never, ever played Mass Effect, and I would like to play that. <laughs> the thing is, Bamboozled Belay, is I wouldn't mind actually playing these sometime. I'm not complaining, right? I mean, having the ability to um, to stockpile them up against a rainy day or a rainy month, in my case, is is not it's not too bad. That that leads me into a think: is what about Van Dorn? You're not going to be ready for this, unfortunately. There's nobody here I really want to try and capture either. Hello, Roy the Wolf. Speak of the devil. Pick you. I might do, actually, Roy the Wolf, if you're around. Because you need a little bit of levelling, too. Oh, you're a Master Sergeant now. Maybe, maybe you don't. But I might still pick you all the same. It's a, land, it's a landed, so it's a good opportunity to get some of these people a run out. I think I probably should take Fatima because she has the ability to be one of the volunteers. You did, is that we're getting a stable of master sergeants together. And yeah, Bamboozle Belay, yes, you're definitely sambering into the ship in a second. Let's have a look. Who else should we bring along on this mission? I'm quite tempted to bring two medics, you know. I, it might be being a bit optimistic, but I would love to try and get some of these guys leveled. Every opportunity to do so. But it does mean we've got to make sure that they're going to be backed up as well. So if we are going to be bringing along two of our potential volunteers, we should probably bring along some babysitters. Atacob, you were a high-level um, assault. You just went on a big mission. You went to go and capture the ethereal. So you are... 
You're somewhere around. Yeah, you're still alive. There you go. Pretty good. A pretty badass person indeed, Atacob. You finally got a bit of movement as well. Ah. Uh, probably should bring along an assault, even though we are probably going to try and shoot at people from long range. So, yes. We're going to take Money Man for this. Again, gunnery sergeants. Maybe try and get some of these people spelled up. And then, I again, I was thinking about babysitters. We do need another babysitter if things go a bit ugly. Or do I bring an engineer? Doreen's almost ready to level. Or Bamboozle Belay, you could do with a level two. So yeah, I was saying about you Sam bring into the ship, but yes, it's going to happen. You're going to be the officer on this crew. So ideally with, I know with Mectoids, I want to try and keep them at arm's length and maybe do a little bit of sniper cheesing if I can. So yeah, let's deck these guys out. I've never actually been able to run so many tier 3 mechs before. It's kind of cool. Don't know whether... I don't know whether it's worthwhile bringing grenade launchers on this. Probably isn't. Though we do need to give you guys a bit more of a setup. I know if we're doing mechtoids, you're definitely going to get core cool armoring. Right, there we go. Probably need to get more AP armor, AP ammo as well. Yeah, you can carry so many extra toys. It's amazing. I'd like to get some more battle computers too. There's lots of things I like to get. We need melds to get them, though. If we spawn in the other end of the map, we're not going to be able to do too much meld gathering. And I think, do I just stack a whole bunch of this stuff on you? Turn you into the crit monster that I want you to be. You're going to be very fragile. We're going to have to protect you. Hello, d -Mayer. Guess what? You're on this mission. Hello. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be as much as a training mission as you can get, d -Mayer. I don't know whether I want to give you the arc rifle for this. I'd like to get you a little bit more motion if I could. We know we're going to be facing mechtoids, so you're going to get the chameleon suit. And you should probably get a motion tracker too. I think that gives you a fairly good balance of mobility and, um, well, the ability to do your job, which is scouting for us. We're going to try our best, DMAR. It's that we're moving towards what I hope is going to be the end of the campaign. And I've just given up a, a landed transport that was a trap for exactly that reason. That's a good balance there. Engineers can start carrying an absurd amount of kit. This is all about trying to get these two some experience. So that you're not really expected to do anything, Fatima, apart from get EXP. Grants 5 will. Now we're going to give you that. And we're not going to bring you the neuroregulator, I think. Though I could do. Probably going to give you the shadow device. We need somebody who has the ability to, do, to carry that. Right, money man. Um probably going to give you a reflex cannon. We know we're going to be facing Max. So, probably, I was thinking about either Shredder. We need a source of Shredder. 
even though I think you're going to against the robots, you're not going to do very well. And finally, Mitch. Same sort of deal. Try not to get any dents on your armour. Bit of suppression, bit of smoke. And that's really about it, right? That should do us very well, I hope. Okay, that's our squad. Best of luck to you. Off you go. Well, yes, it's that, that's the problem. Is that it's hard to buff the, that blood stains out, Demaya. Dropship has arrived. Kicking the mic. Sorry, such a pro. Let's let's give this a go. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. The alien I want to get some melds area. here. I would we like to get to a couple of cans of melds, please. We need to investigate and eliminate any hostile forces encountered. Because it's um, that's really reaching now a hard limit on what we can and cannot do. Illyrium too as well. We need about 200 Illyrium if we're going to finish the game. And that's even if we don't buy anything else. Hey, this is Big Sky. We're in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Right, so it's this map. I don't see too much meld. It looks like the XCOM gods are not going to be kind. Yeah, so we're down one side. There's a hill in front of us, which is probably where we're going to see the mectoids. Nobody about might go here. Heading there now. And then we've got a pod ahead of us. Oh, and there's a meld. What was I talking about? So it said there's gonna be fifteen. If you believe it, that's a pod of four. There's gonna be two outsiders. Which means that we're either facing two pods of four. Or one pod of eight. I hope it's not one pod of eight. That would be nasty. Hello, Paulie plays. Yes, let's let's see how we get on. We just gave up the chance to fight a, a trap, Paulie plays. Because that's too much for, for me now, to be honest. Light the fire. there now. I'm on the move. Moving out. I'm on the move. Got it covered. There's the mectoids. So far, it's pretty much what I was expecting. Yeah, we're going to kill you and hopefully splash the other seekers with acid. Okay, they went invisible. That's fine. Might be able to maybe get a kill for Fatima here, which would be quite nice. Be a bit harder getting you um there we go let's see whether that does it on my way X-ray down right that's a little bit of experience for our potential volunteer we have of course those cloaked seekers but 
I want to get this meld. I know I've got meld hunger. There's not much we can do about it apart from try and get it, of course. There wasn't anybody here last time, was there? But there's no telling what there is now. Orders confirmed. Alien Moving object out. in sight. Right, there we go. That's our next customers. What do we have? That looks like a pod of sectoids. You know, it's funny. I've noticed sometimes if there's a trap, the aliens do send to, do tend to send a little bit of a weaker squad afterwards. Hoping that's the situation here. Same sort of deal. We're going to get probably a huge Leviathan Mectoid walk out of that ship after I said it's going to be now. easy. Stepping off. Okay, that's a 50-50. No luck there. You're going to blow up the meld, aren't you? Yes, I told you. No. Okay, great. It's a sectoid commander, which isn't so great. That's, that's fine. We can manage that. Same sort of deal. If I could feed a kill to um, Fatima, that'd be awesome. Might be getting a bit hopeful, but let's see how we get on, shall we? Je bouge. Now we know a lot of those sectoids ran off into the fog of war, probably for good reason. Well, there doesn't seem to be anybody else here. I'm quite tempted to try and steal that meld. Very tempted. Is it silly? It probably is. Heading to that location. Well, there's nobody else here. Grab that meld. It's been secured. All that effort over seven melds. I think we're probably going to try and kill you. Six feet under. Okay. Then hopefully let's try and get these cut. These, these couple of sectoids and then um, maybe blow up the sectoid commander's cover and then kill him would be the plan. So if I can get you back. Moving out. And get you into a shootable position. Okay. Okay, maybe I should just shoot again then. Hello, Viva Taddy, how are you doing? Almost, you know, if you, you probably don't remember, but last time I streamed, there was a landed transport that was a trap, and we let it go, Viva Taddy. And I, like I was saying, is that this is a landed scout, but it's looking kind of nice not as scary as it should be should I put it that way moving to position
nice. Nice and straightforward the way I like it, to be honest. Well, you know, Vili Taddy was saying earlier, I mean, it's warming up, isn't it? It's, it's not as cold as it okay. was a couple of weeks ago. I'm enjoying myself quite a sunny day to waste um, playing XCOM. Getting a better look. Right, still don't know where that mechtoid is. Looking forward to it, you know. And, you know, com when you have some North Americans here, you don't really want to complain about bad weather. Or feeling cold. Well, you can. You're just not going to get very much sympathy. I'm on it, Commander. Hello, Ergo. How are you? Long time no see. Yeah, uh, title's a little bit of a lie, Ergo, uh, is we have, um, we still have a ways to go, but I'm hoping I'm the, the end game is really coming very quickly I'm now. Ready. Reloaded. I'm on it, Commander. No idea where that mechtoid is hiding. Reload complete. Okay, money man, you come over here. That's right, D Mayor. Especially when you're watching this streamer, is that you could have a nice nap. And come back, and the end game wouldn't really have moved very much. We've got another meld. What did I say about meld hunger? Welcome. I'm hoping, Ergo. I'm hoping we need to get more cash, and there's some few end game toys that I'd really like to have for the final mission. Okay. Wow, wherever that, those guys are, they are a long way around this corner, I think. I'm going to get rid of Celine's flight. Rockets down. Get him moved over. Got it, moving. Yeah, last stream we managed to capture an ethereal ergo. And that's such a massive gateway to the rest of the game. And a massive pain in the arse to do as well, of course. Moving out. Rolling out. Roger, Dodger. As long as they don't come through that doorway, we'll be okay. Certainly seems to be a very loud and stompy mechtoid, that's for sure. I'm all over it. I'm gonna make an educated bet that they're hanging around where the meld is, somewhere over in this corner. Should we see if I'm right? Eyes open. 30 degrees when it's winter time here, Ergo, sounds quite nice. Um, I know that eventually I'll be complaining about it, but at the moment it doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, that mechtoid is as far away from my sniper as it can be. You should do Mighty Pat upon. I mean, once you move to Canada, um, got it. Moving. Fahrenheit doesn't work as well when it gets down really cold, does it? Or oh, it's the same. I can't.
can't remember now, but it, it's I'm pretty much you. that. Affirmative. Moving out. Moving to designated coordinates. We do have a shadow device if we need to. We must make sure we do not activate these outsiders now. On my way. I don't know whether I really want to put Mitch there. Let's put you over here, Mitch. Moving to position. On the move. So what are these guys going to do? They're going to run into the ship. That's what they're going to do. That's right, Mighty Patapon. Yeah, thanks, Atacob. I, I knew it was Brass Monkey's cold. So, yes, is that... Um, when you're doing Celsius, uh, Mighty Patapon, you get a good idea whether you need to wear your uh, your woolly hat or not. Or took. Is it called Took in the Maritimes, Atacob? I'm not sure. Running. I know it's, it's a name for a woolly hat. That's about as much as I do know. I'm rolling. Hello, Justice. How are you doing? Yeah, it's the same campaign, Justice. We are hopefully reaching the end of it. I'm, I'm really... Not this stream, but in a couple of streams, I'm hoping. Right. If you're going to play hide-and-seek, we're going to go and steal that meld. Object in sight. I'm rolling. So it kind of works for. Canada's roads, mighty pat upon. It is, you know. I mean, I, I think, you know, last time I spoke to Justice, I was struggling through the mid game. Is Long Wars a. <laughs> Long Wars a long campaign anyway. But it's even worse if you, you know, if you go away and leave it for a few months, it's sometimes quite hard to go back to it. That's affirmative. Right, I see something. Oh, what a surprise. It's a drone. That's actually quite a big mech toid. We better be get ready for this. I'm rolling. Will do. Of course, it's never going to come running into a chem grenade. It's, it's going to stop just outside the ship. You wait. I'm hoping this might block our view a bit. Yeah, it's sort of, you know, I'm not saying it's dragged on, but, uh, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite glad to get some time again to really concentrate on it. We might need a shadow device if it is the Leviathan I think it is. On my way. Back into the fight, soldier. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it's... It's going to be a good time when it's finished. Moving. I can't really say that I've got any claim to fame apart from having easily the longest-running Long War campaign around. And I don't think that's actually something to be you know, proud of, to be honest. Loud and clear, sir. Light fires. Two steps. Oh, 
are they just going to stay right where they've got those um, outsiders protecting them? What do you think? I'm on it, Commander. Come and get it. No, you're not going to come and get it, are you? You're going to be as difficult and as annoying as possible. So we might see if we can get a sniper shot on them. Rockets down. Stepping off. No, not yet. It's going to be tricky, but we're going to kick this off with a sniper shot if we can. Okay. Position confirmed. I think we're going to we're going to activate now. I shouldn't complain. They're giving us the high ground and we might be able to get at least a couple of shots off at them. Moving there now, sir. That is blatantly avoiding our sniper, isn't it? Absolutely blatantly. I might have to try a few shots with our mechs here. If they don't teleport, which they totally could do. I would like to take a shot of this mectoid, not not just one of its support units. I'm on the move. Location confirmed. It's, if it goes back into the ship, we may have to wait for it to come round again. Roger that. Sorry guys, we're just going to have to set up an ambush up here again. Um, I would like to get a few cheap shots on this mechtoid as it comes round. I don't want to... I don't want it coming out and doming someone, shall I put it that way? Which is very likely to do. I might, yes, we, we're going to have to try and ask it very politely to come out to us. Position confirmed. Which might happen this turn. You never know, it might do. Got it covered. Aye, aye, Commander. On the move. Location confirmed. Right, everybody just chill. We'll get there eventually. It teleported. Okay, that should still be fine. We are going to try and get a shot off on it now. Heading to that location.
scanning. Right, what sort of thing is it? I don't believe it. We, oh, we still only can see. Right, that's a bit annoying. That's bullshit. He's actually hiding behind these rocks. The game does cheat a bit. I wonder if my sniper can even get a shot. Yeah, it looks like we're going to we're going to try it now. That's quite a big boy. Yeah, that's a Leviathan, all right. So we do not want to shoot back at it. Actually, you're going to run away because I think if I shoot back at this Leviathan me Mectoid, he's going to get a free shot on me. Probably too much hit points to really take too much out of it this time. Yeah, it's like chopping wood, isn't it? Well, we're not going to get too far shooting ten at a time, are we? Okay, uh... Back you down. Back you go. I hope I was right about being able to hide from this thing. Moving to position. Hello, Black Swordsman. How are you? Hello, the voice. Been a while. <laughs> 2030 sounds very conservative voice. It, it might even take a bit longer than that. I am a little bit concerned for my sniper now, actually. Knowing what those mechtoids can do. Okay. So I'm going to cowardly get you to run away. Hopefully, where it can't see you. Heading for that location. Understood. Moving out. Oh, uh, what I did mighty pat upon is I had at least one corrupt game save. So I got in the habit, I basically make a copy of my save after every stream. Uh, I've learnt that lesson. It's, it's much better to do it that way. Okay. We're still fighting this guy, are we? Still not able to do any suppression.
it would be lovely to do a suppression on this on this mectoid, but I don't know whether we're going to be able to. On my way. Take cover behind me. Pop and smoke. I wonder if I'm going to have to run an overwatch with you, D Mayor. Do you fancy running a Leviathan Mectoids overwatch? It's going to be fun either way. Hello, Varial. We're just about to do what you should never do, which is run an overwatch. That, again, that Mectoid has done a really great job, a fantastic job of pinning us in one place. Oh, not enough. Oh well, never mind. In that case, to hell with it then. Touchdown. Heading out. We shall find out, Fariel. We shall find out. Here we go. Best of luck, Dimea. So one in twenty. You live. Got a lot of heat on me. Fatima, do you feel like being extra special brave? No, that's not going to work. Okay, forget about that idea. Back you come. Moving out. Good. Reactive targeting sensors is, is a massive amount of bullshit. Best of luck, everybody. I think we're going to need it. mine merge that's not so good i should maybe have tried to kill it last turn because now it's going to be even harder to kill oh that's better oh he stood tall good on him right we we live another turn Dimea, how brave do you feel? You might have to do this again, I'm afraid. That's a lot of overwatches. Very difficult to get a shot on this thing, isn't it? Moving out. I know I can get into suppression distance. I'm not sure I really want to, though. This boy is just far too flipping dangerous. Yeah, you're going to have to run. Dimea, you may have to run a bunch of overwatches again. Sorry. Moving. 
I mean, look at it this way, D. Mayer. It's a lot better than the alternative. Will do. One in twenty. Holy shit. I hate that thing so much. I don't activate those outsiders we're doing okay thirteen dr you love to see it Oh dear, have we got a bot? That's that's very bad. Um, there we go. Sorted out. Thanks very much, voice. I would have missed that otherwise. still want to finish this off if we possibly can. It's a lot though. I don't think Erdham's actually got the uh, horsepower to do it. But at the same time, maybe I should have thrown a chem grenade because this this guy is getting a little bit too serious. You are suppressing him, aren't you? I'm not wrong there. It actually is under suppression. I'm on it, Commander. Yes, you are. Good. Can I throw a chem? Yeah, it's too far away. He's managed to control the, uh, the actual fight very, very well. Roger that. I think we might be able to kill it here. Yes, yeah, right, actually. That's a good point. I haven't seen spammers in ages. As I said before, I really don't get Moving to how you can actually even make money on, the, on Twitch spam. It doesn't make any sense. I was about to say is that I was expecting a CCS there, but you should never trust CCS. All right, well, I'm happy to say that's hopefully it. Again, I'd like Fatima to keep racking up a few kills if I can. So, let's try and do that, shall we? Okay. Moving. Even sectoids have got a little bit too tanky. Moving to position. Heading to that location. I'll get him next time. 
You could do with a kill too, actually. I don't suppose you could get the shot, could you? Pop and smoke. Interesting voice. I, I never thought there'd be any financial way of actually winning from it. But okay, that kind of makes sense. Uh, Money Man, you could get a couple of kills here, that's for sure. But who do I give the kill to? Yeah, Erhan, can you kill this, rid me of this thing? Probably not. We'll just take a couple of uh, pot shots then. go okay next bit is the outsiders even this you can't really call it a training mission anymore there's the aliens are getting a little bit too scary and we need to finish this as quickly as we can well thanks a lot d mayor your um your bravery was appreciated Understood. Moving out. Moving out. Running. It'd be nice to get Celine one last kill too. I, I would like a whole stable of Master Sergeant snipers. Target confirmed. On our way. Especially for that final mission. Don't know what the Uber Ethereal is going to be on impossible, but it sounds quite scary. Time to motor. Probably run you in next turn, I think. Let's just let's just get set up. Moving. Heading there now. Heading there now. Copy that. Let's rock. Uh, well, I've beaten it on classic Reloaded. voice, um, on classic on uh, Iron Man, which is, I think it's a different game when you actually play on Iron Man voice, is that, uh, you know, I think I've beaten it on normal as well, but, you know, saved just to try and learn the game, and when you got much scarier consequences it makes you play very carefully do you know what i mean but yeah i, I basically beat it on classic and then i was talking to Grainbow monk after we finished and he encouraged me to try impossible but i still hold a grudge against him for but yeah i'd be like i said i'd be glad to finish this it's been quite an experience Ammunition loaded. Rock and roll. Pretty much justice. I mean, it's a great mod. I, I'll pro I'll proselytize this mod any time. It's awesome. But uh, it's um, 
It does take a while. Got it. Moving. God, take a while. It takes a long time. I'm trying to think of ways of saying that it's a really, it's a game that takes ages to play without using the word long. Not very well. Yeah, voice, you, you had, you were really unlucky with whatever the hell was going on with your game settings, is that you had a lot of really weird or edge case bugs happening. It was kind of interesting. I, um, I think that I, what, I was luck, what, what was lucky about me is I was able to iron all that stuff out when I did the classic run and introduce just enough things to, to stop me getting really frustrated with just the normal jankiness of this game. Extended sounds good. Yeah, it was crazy voice watching some of your streams. Yeah, Mighty Patapon, I agree. I mean, how, how strict do you want to be about Iron Man, Mighty Patapon? Because in this campaign, I've had uh, the game crash straight after a mission, and so I had to reload and, you know, play through that. I've rage quitted once, I have to admit and uh, corrupted my game doing so and had to go back a couple of turns does that mean it's strictly iron man i kind of think it does but maybe some people would disagree with me That guy ran as far as he could go, just so he could get a chance at getting my scout. Aye, aye, Commander. And he's also got 3DR now as well. That's affirmative. I might even have to... I'll have to make sure that we don't get anybody I'm stupidly on. hurt here. Yeah, me too, Patapon. Yes, I mean, that's fundamentally it. Uh, this is a modded game anyway, and there's a whole bunch of ways you can mod it. I mean, you know, what is what is Long War? Watching a streamer called Turks one, and his is, is pretty vanilla Long War, and it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. That too, fingers crossed, my death rate's been pretty bloody good, and I would like to keep it that way. Okay. Another one down. Good work, Commander. Yeah, slowed down a bit towards the end there, but all in all, that was a pretty straightforward one. better get it together or we're gonna mop the floor with them. yeah don't get overconfident Bradford we have two terror missions coming up okay how are we doing we've accumulated a little bit more melds which is quite nice we're not really going to be able to spend much more because we're going to need this for the end game I need to collect some more Illyrium and alloys if I can I mean I'd love to get plasma pistols and the whole works but we just don't have the cash it's it's a different game isn't it mighty pat upon those two you're kind of expected to you know have people die and die a lot I could try and shoot this down or I could let it land and have the fun that's going to be it's an abduction the thing is, if I shoot it down, are we going to be able to shoot down the assault carrier that's inevitably going to Europe? 
You know what? I, I might try shooting this down. Contact detected. I hope they don't get too banged up here. Yeah, it's a different game for us. Satellite assist acquiring target. Right, that's that's rather more than I was expecting. Because I'm not, I'm trying to save my aim modules. I might regret doing this. Probably regret it. Don't land. We have eyes on the bandit. Okay, let's see if we can shoot the bugger down. Satellite assisted targeting enabled. Robbed. Absolutely bloody robbed. Which is why I'm glad that I didn't use any dodge modules there. Blowing up these ships becomes far too bloody common towards the end of the game. Oh well. One less mission, I guess. Yeah, ten days, seven days. We'll see. Should be okay. We'll find out when the terror mission is. Alco's back. So yeah, the whole crew that just got that ethereal are back. And let's see what our next side does no friendly you are not going to progress and that's okay not everyone can have a big brain so the question comes do i toss anybody else in the tanks i could do electo but i doubt he's going to be the volunteer friendly again nah he's 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 pretty much done i reckon we're just going to have to leave the tank empty for now and see what happens. Though, I mean, it's, it is a shame. I would have liked Friendly to go on to the last mission. Germany wants a sectoid commander captive for a panic reduction. Do you know what? I've never seen this, but I have heard you can get a panic reduction with a council request. Let's see how much reduction that actually gives us. So Germany's looking pretty good, right? It's got 18 panic. It's like that, isn't it? Each one of these is 20. So yeah, it's, it's 28 panic. Let's see what reduction we get here. Prisoner transfer. Right, let's have a look. And the answer is... Oh, quite a lot. That's almost 20 panic reduction. That's well worth it. If you can get a trade for a high panic country, that's awesome. Cool, I'll do that again. Yeah, that's pretty good. We are keeping our fingers crossed we can keep these two countries in the council. I don't really want to do a base assault late game. Might have to. Wow, this is our first particle cannon. It's taken a while to get here, but that's that's good news. Here we go. This is a terror ship, so it's not the assault carrier. You know, Atacob IM2 is that you could do all sorts of fun stuff with a sectoid commander, wouldn't you? But I guess that's a worry for another time. Just like Bradford says, they've got no idea what they're going to do with all these weapons afterwards. Actually, that's a bit of a shame. We may not get... We may not get our firestorms ready in time, which means at least one late-game terror mission. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Let's see what happens. Contact detected. Good, we've got another core armoring. That could come in quite handy. More aim modules. We might be trying to shoot down a lot of shit in a second.
That's an interesting use of them, Bamboozle Ballet. Um, Grim. This is probably going to be our last scout of the month. The aliens have front-loaded everything, and it's got rather quiet now in XCOM. Ooh, that's a long run Bangs as well. Out. We might have to try and kill this guy this time. Enhanced targeting system on Closing on target. Now, don't make me have to go and send another one up, for God's sake. Good. Right, let's see what we've got. 19. That's fairly high for a crashed raider. Again, no mutant elites, so no lovely captures, I'm afraid. Outsiders and sectoid commanders is probably the command pods. Mutons and berserkers. What is it, three pods? Oh, that's going to be quite nasty. 14. Yeah, okay, could be five or six pods. We, we shall see. Supplemental aphrodisiac sounds awesome. Oh, did I say that out loud? Anyway, um, Center Sky Ranger. We know we've got two terror missions coming. We have the Dawn ready. I would like to promote the Dawn as well. Like I said, it's, we're reaching the end game and we're trying to get things sorted out like... Um, Receives five will and five defense in battle, receives two aim. This is always a tricky one. What do you think? I mean, the will's going to come in quite handy, especially for that final mission. But two aim per continent boast bonus is a lot. That's, that's an extra, what, 10, 12 aim? That sounds really powerful. I, I, I always tend to tend to lean towards using the aim in this if I can get it because you can you can never have enough aim just to make sure that you can hit the guys right five will is really nice don't get me wrong but I think aim is the better choice here there we go you're a colonel now Van Dorn and I would like to send you on the next mission to try and maybe get you up to commander. Bit of a high ask, but we shall see. Yeah, is one thing which is always really nice to do in, in this game is if you know where the aliens are, ambushing them is really, really nice. And... If you're using squad sight as much as I do, that extra aim can come in quite handy, especially since the aliens get so much defense. I think I think that's probably a good idea. Well, it's, it's done now as well. Let's have a think. Who can we send on this? Justice? Do you want to have a leg stretch? You're almost up to a level three psychic. It's not bad, especially considering how horribly wounded you got several times. We might wait one hour and send Mitch on this mission, actually, who's near to being the volunteer. And Fatima, Fatima too. I don't know whether I'm going to take two medics for this map. It sounds a little bit scarier, should I put it that way. So yeah, let's let's wait for these guys to get ready. And that's the whole team. So 19. It's going to be a pod of 4 or 5 as the command pod. So I'm betting that we're going to have at least 3 pods of 5 guessing. So, yeah, De Mayo, you're coming again. You lucky, lucky scout, you. If I can find you. There you go. We would like to get some extra meld here. I wonder whether I should take you on this one, though. It's an opportunity to get some really good meld. Right, 
Right. Well, again, we're going to bring along a sniper. We, it's, it's all about trying to get these people leveled up. Celine, you're coming again. In fact, it's pretty much going to be the team from last time, I think. Quite tempted to bring Van Dorn. He needs another five missions, so I'd better get him going. And we're going to bring along... Yeah, I could take you justice, but I think Mitch, because he needs just a couple more missions or... Fuck. Um, tricky. Fatima? I mean, she could go into the tank right now. Though she doesn't have suppression. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's best. I'm hoping... I, I don't want to take too many possible volunteers in one mission. It's, um... It's a bit scary, a bit risky. We're probably going to bring along Roy the Wolf as a babysitter. And one of our Pathfinders too. So, yeah, Abjit, you're coming again. We should still also have a couple of abductions, so I should be careful about sending too many people on this. Some sort of low-level engineer, Kurgosh maybe? Or Doreen, probably Doreen. Oh, I, I think the time for red shirts is long gone now, I'm afraid. We've got enough people that it's... Rookies are... They, I, <laughs> I have to admit, I've been using the rookies and, and corporals I've been getting as trades as a way of getting extra melds. And so we've had at least a couple of them horribly wounded. And they did collect some melds, and so it was kind of worth that. Um, bit ruthless, I'm afraid. Who should I take along? We've got a pretty good team now, but I might need somebody who's a bit more of a killer. Let's try a infantry, shall we? Ooh, all the new toys coming out now. Be quite good. I don't think I've ever had a particle cannon in Long War. Um, they've always been way too expensive to afford. Let's hope that it's nice, comfortable pods here as well. Nothing dangerous. No Leviathan mechs, please. Like, we're still using Gauss also auto pistols. It'd be great to start having some better kit on these guys. You're quite slow. Now you're very slow. I don't know. We don't need an arc rifle again. Hopefully you won't have to run as many overwatches as you did last time. Again, that's pretty much the normal setup. And give Van Dorn all the armor, please. Where's those scout collars? There we are. That's it. So he's still got 12 movement. He can kind of hang in there. I 
should bring along a laser pistol again we should really get our gear going shredder again pretty normal setup give you some mobility and a respirator implant and finally Tarek so this increases XP and gives a little bit of will going to give put that on you and I'm going to have to make sure that you stay as far back as possible okay that's our team let's see how we get on shall we we have visual on the mission site setting down we're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border the UFO came down in a sparsely populated area away from any major population centers. We can secure the site with limited danger to the civilians in the area. Pretty much standard is what we're really pushing for is meld. The more meld, the better. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Pretty central location. We're going to have to go round the ship to clear the rest of the map. Because I've got no interest in trying to activate the outsiders now. It is a little bit of a, a tricky spawn, actually, because... If the aliens are around, you can kind of get yourself nicely trapped here with not too much cover. It's my least favourite spawn on this map, I think. So yeah, we want to move over here to this high ground if we can. We're going to burn a motion tracker. Because we want to know if we're going to get trapped in here or not. Nothing so far. Heading to that location. Still nothing. That's good. Might move here. He might tell us what's over over by the ship as well. I'm on it, Commander. All right, there's our first contact. It's a pod of five. Uh, the hyperwave beacon said, what "Was it 15?" Blocking us from getting into the meld, of course. If they move forward, we're going to be fighting them here too, which isn't so hot. Affirmative, Commander. So ideally, I would like to move over here. I would also like to make sure we don't have anybody to the left of us. No traps, please. Quite tempted to get Selene up and flying now. Position confirmed. Fatima, you just try and keep up with everybody. Solid copy. On the move. I'm rolling. Headed there now. Rubber's on the road and the kids are in the back seat. All right, let's see. There's the sectoids. Going here is a bit risky because if the outsiders have spawned in the ship, we're going to get trapped. Or at least the command pods. We're not going to go there. This corner is quite a nice one. It's, it's hard to get revealed that way. So I might head over here. Good copy. Moving on target nobody so far 
So we might move up to this line, ready to, well, ready to have a fight just here if, if we need to. That's affirmative. The joker, of course, would be if we activate just now. I wonder... I'd like to get our infantry over into a position as soon as we can. Corriendo. Normal as uh, Van Dorn. Probably put you there. Double time. Quiet. Right, so it did say floaters, which I thought would be floaters and muton. And there is another pod over here. We might burn another motion tracker here. Yep. So we've got both pods sitting in wait for us, I guess protecting the meld. If we're going to be fighting them, it'd be nice to know if there's anything next to the ship. Open. Okay, there's our Berserker. We've even got some shots on them for once, which is quite nice. I think we might try and engage here. Just so that we can grab that meld. I can just about see it in the background there. Yeah, there is floaters around Bamboozle Ballet, I'm sure of it. Hello, Chaos, how are you? It's um, it's 2 a.m. here, I'm cool. Glad I was able to catch you playing, Ben. Thanks very much for popping in, Mighty Batapon. Look after yourself. I hope to see you soon, is that, you know, for the finale. That would be great fun. But yeah, look after yourself. Take care now. I think we're going to try a shot. Atacob, lovely popping in to, to watch. Thanks ever so much for coming in. Yeah, get yourself to bed. I'm sure you North Americans are. You're all watching very late. You guys need your sleep. And just waking up. And it's just the afternoon where I am. Quite an international lot, eh? Right, you're going you're gonna to throw a smoke. I know that. I don't like throwing smokes, but you are going to have to throw a smoke. And then you're going to throw a chem. Because that's quite a big guy. I'm kind of regretting fighting you here now, actually. Because you're going to have to... You're going to have to shoot that thing. And we're going to have to do it without activating anything else. Solid copy. We might have to do that as well. Okay, so let's paint this fucking beer. No, you're going to have to hit no it because we're going to need that shred. Better. Right, he's just out of there. The other pod is here. I don't think they should be able to see us here. I don't think so. Um... I 
not even sure whether that's going to activate CCS, you know. Maybe I'm going to go here then. What I want, I'd like to do is try and keep the BM off out of that extra smoke we've got there. Right, Abjit, you can't panic here, mate. You do need to get this shot and do it nicely, please. Affirmative, Commander. Right, you're in smoke. 100% shot. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I like this gun already. Super. In that case, you're going to remove these guys' cover. And you're going to take a pot shot at the nearer of the two. Oh, I like this gun a lot. That's awesome. Hell yes. Um, into cover. Where? Here? I think here. This muton's probably going to run. I don't want to... I, I, mm, it's floaters. I don't want to activate those floaters now. Whatever the fuck I do, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to put you here. And you are going to have to run back into smoke. Okay, job done. Here we go. What is that? One, two, five. Difficult. Six of them. Oh, you decided to come back. Hostiles attempting to suppress. Not so hot. How many is that? That's five floaters, including. Are you a floater raider or what? What are you? Yes, you are. You have CCS. No, you, yes, you have CCS and covering fire. You're a very bad boy. We don't want anything to do with you. You know what? I think, Celine, your best bet may be to try and stop this muton from suppressing us. The alternative is to maybe try and kill the raider. But no, I think... This is definitely our target. Got him. The Euro might be a little bit trickier. We can panic. You're flanked, of course. Remember, it's CCS. So, to avoid CCS, I'm going to have to go into... into the acid, the chem, or we trust the um, battle scanner I threw. I think we're going to have to do this because we need to kill this floater raider. He's easily the most dangerous guy here. On my way. Yeah, lots and lots of floaters. So let's try and kill you. Glorious. Hell yeah, I like that gun even more now. Right, Roy the Wolf, your opportunity. You've got a great opportunity here to maybe get a couple of flanks if we don't activate again. Nice. Kill that guy. Very good. And that one up there. Okay, super. We still don't want to move very far. That was probably the riskiest move of so far. Because we don't know what's up here. We know there is sectoids. We do have a suppression. We do have two suppressions. So we can keep these guys locked down. You're going to take a shot. And you're going to connect. That's super. 
we still have a suppression and you're still in smoke. So I think, Van Dorn, you're going to take a shot. Why not? Well, that's a pretty damn good shred. I wonder, could you get a shot? Aye, aye. 89? Yeah. Can you kill it? Wow, that was straightforward. Weapon systems ready. And I maybe should take you here? We still want to get that meld, remember? Though I'm not sure I want to push up any further just in case. Let's let's see. That was two pods defending that meld, which is quite a lot. I think we're going to try and sneak you into this corner here. Got it. Moving. Alien object in sight. I will. Well, we could try and take this high ground. Confirm coordinates. Been marked up. Oh, yeah. Rock tap bang. I'm on the move. That what? may be the Can command fault. Ten, fifteen, it's possible. I'm not a hundred percent sure, though, honestly. We could almost get that meld next turn. Headed there now. Right. That was definitely the risky move of the day. I think everyone else is gonna hang up over here. Closing on target. Bangs out. Ya podemos seguir. Apart from our mech, who I may run over Headed there now. just to give our scout some support if he gets uh, revealed now. On the move. I'm on it, Commander. We're back to five melds. It was fun while it lasted. Affirmative. Oh, okay, so it is some outsiders. Glorious. Good shot, though. You will hear just... Okay, that gun is now my favourite thing. It's so powerful. What do we have? We have a commander, an outsider, and two sectoids. I mean, that's that's an obvious gimme, so we're, we're going to definitely take that shot. I could take those, I guess. We're going to suppress you. It is going to have the ability to mindfuck anybody it wants, but we're going to see how we get on. Is that counted as half cover, I wonder? be quite nice to know. No, it isn't. Oh dear, you're in a lot of trouble. The Outsiders managed to run all the way into the ship. We could try and wrinkle it out before it comes over and 
causes trouble. Doreen, you don't actually have a command. I don't know whether Van Dorn's going to be able to kill this sector of commander. We may not have too much say in the matter. Definitely got a nice shot there, Dimea, but it'd be nice to try and get the... Yes, okay. Let's go for the slightly bigger of the two. Damn it. Roy the Wolf. Voy hacia ese lugar. Pretty good, but no cigar. Okay, let's see if Abject can get these two for us. Heading out. Yeah, that's, that's again, a nice straightforward uh, encounters there. Those three pods were nicely spaced out. see the command pod just yet. Commander. Okay, they're just in front of us. Probably in the other room. We'll just slip over here and see. I'm on the move. Yeah, look to be in the other room. This door is shut. This door is shut. So they're either just here or they could be just over here. Going to make a bit tricky to get a sniper shot here. We may have to, well, go in right among them. There could be a mectoid in there. We're going to have to be kind of careful. Let's see. Cutting ignition. Got it, moving. Manos a la obra. Sounds like a sectoid commander for sure, doesn't it? I don't know what else is there. Yes, I am tile scanning. Oh, I don't know where they are. I thought they were right in front of us, but maybe they're not. Yeah, okay, we'll go round. I think I see I think I see them. No, maybe not. Don't know where they are. They they're hiding for sure. I'm on it, Commander. Do have a shot in there if we can get there. Double time it. Up 
Afirmativo. Running. Moving. Double time. It'd be great if we could get this sniper another shot. It'd be quite a sharp angle. Let's see. No, they're in, they're in the other side of the ship. Could even be out here. Moving to designated coordinates. All right, what do you see? Outsider, sectoid commander, and a couple of sectoids. That doesn't sound that dangerous. They're quite well hidden, though. That outside, that outsider is going to get a plasma shot for sure, though. If we can, everyone else probably is going to set up on this wall here. Apart from our officer, who might come round for a flank. So we'll try that. So Doreen, you're going to run over to this side of the ship. Location confirmed. And everyone else is going to go through these two doors. Confirmed coordinates. Because they're so close to the door, I don't know whether it's worthwhile trying any clever stuff like sending somebody around this side to flank them. I'm not sure it's worth it. We're just going to have to try and get into their faces right at the start. You can see everybody, that's awesome. Sniper? Oh, is he? Oh, damn it. He's actually counted as being in cover, is he? It's interesting. Okay. We will still give that a go in a second. So I assume that they're going to just run away from the sniper, so your sniper is going to take his first shot. That's probably not a great place to go. Heading to that location. Maybe I could kill these two. Fatima, I don't suppose you could kill this one, or is it counted as covered? Aye, aye, Commander. Target disabled. Moving to position. Shit, I need to get more of those guns. Dead Commander, the operation was a success. Yeah, that's the sort of straightforward one you want. That, that's that's really nice. 
Another successful mission. Excellent work, Commander. So you get to be Master Sergeant, which means that I'm going to give you rapid fire. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty good. And Demea, you are also getting in the ranks. I'm going to give you Sprinter so that you're even more... You're able to collect even more melds for me. And finally, Doreen, well, you're going to get extra conditioning because otherwise you get far too fragile for this stage of the campaign. What have you got? Eight health? Okay. Right, we'll see how you get on. Still got some loot. Still got some meld. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. And we're gonna have to spend all of this in a few days with an alien command and control. Meanwhile, we know we have two terror missions essentially back to back coming up. Unfortunately, we aren't gonna have enough firestorms to do this. We might be able to stop them in Europe, but this one's going to be a problem. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I don't want to do a terror mission. And we're going to ignore this because this guy's much too tough to shoot down. He's not going to spawn a base defense mission. We're just going to ignore him. Mustafa, you just aren't going to have that big brain, are you? What do I do? Maybe I should have taken justice on that one. It's almost reached the time where you go to hell with it and don't put anybody else in the tank now. But I suppose I should put you in. We are going to have a couple of people coming in as the volunteer quite soon. Okay. Another abductions just before we have the terror missions. This is in Japan. So again, we can't shoot it down now because we are waiting for that terror mission to spawn. So we're going to have to see what sort of abduction this is. Oh, okay. Do you know what? I might check to see how many satellites I've got. They seem to be quite excited about the prospect of trying to shoot them down. Satellite assist acquiring target. Nearing strike range. I don't think we're going to be able to shoot this down, but you're doing a great job of it. Fantastic. Shame we didn't get the mission, but all the same. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. Moderate. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Wow, a moderate in, in April of the next year is, is a good news. It really is. This is going to be quite um, a, of a knife fight, but I might bring along a capture engineer for this. It gets me into so much trouble. But it would be quite nice to bring, <laughs> to safely bring a Mutant Elite gun back with us. No, nobody there able to go in. So yeah, Justice, I think it's time for you to go and have a leg stretch, isn't it? Or do I take Mitch? Fuck it, I'm going to take Mitch. Is that... You're so close, Mitch. Another two or three missions and you could at least try to be the volunteer. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know whether I'm going to bother with a scout for this one. Well, if I was going with my gut, Justice, I'd probably take you along because, you know, we don't know what we're going to be facing here. 
but um, I do need to get you cycling through as well. We are going to... We don't know, like I said, what we're going to be facing. We've got... I did say about a knife fight. I wonder whether I should bring along a marauder to this. So I'm going to bring cow meat along. And their job is to, well, get in among those aliens if necessary. Because it's a moderate, we're going to take along Grainbow. See if we can use him to capture somebody. If we're taking along Mitch, it'd be nice to bring along another big brain to scare the Newtons. When you've got moderates, you don't really want to take your, your real heavy hitters. But I don't know. We might take Erdahan again, try and get them some more experience. Right, so yeah, two mechs. That's definitely late game. You know what? I'm almost tempted to bring along a rocketeer here for cover destruction. But yeah, let's think. You know, think less of that. Really, we're going to take along a capture specialist, which is going to be probably Kurgosh, if we get somebody worthwhile capturing. Finally, yeah, some infantry. Don't know whether I want to bring along some Master Sergeant infantry. Though we may have to. Let's bring along an assault. Carnage, maybe? Or Black Swordsman. Why not? Or Money Man? Too much choice, man. And probably... Shall I take... Shall I make the bet that we're going to be able to capture somebody? It might be... It might be another Leviathan Mectoid and we can really regret this. But let's, let's see what we can do. Same with you guys. I really, really would like you to not die on this. But we might have to do some suppression. If we're going to be taking you, it might be worthwhile bringing along some chem grenades. Still don't know if I'm going to bring along the shadow device as well. Probably give you the particle cannon. Uh, no, I think the rail gun, because if you're going to get stuck in the middle... We do a one armor piercing ammo. I should I should build more of that. Must remember to, to build more of those once we're finished. Money man is here if it's a whole bunch of berserkers. Also, of course, you know, you never know. It could be ethereals as well. I hope I... Um, now I wish I hadn't said that. Very good. You're a bit fragile. But you can melt Max. You're as bad as near as a baby as we're going to bring on these. Wonder. There we go. I think that's our team. Actually. 
that means justice, you could bring the shadow device. Which sounds a very good idea. Kurgosh, you're going to be our capture engineer then. Starting to get to be quite a lot of stuff here, you know. I do... Oh, right, there we go. That's the arc thrower. Okay, let's see how we get on then. Prepare for deployment, strike one. You'll be heading into Japan. Moderate. The We've gotten several reports. I'm hoping that this means this is going to be a pushover. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. I am getting a bit concerned that we've got two terror missions coming up, and we've had several missions with fairly low-level aliens. I don't think it works that way, but you do wonder what they have in store for us on the terror mission, don't you? Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Okay. Like all these maps, um, it becomes a battle of wills about who can hold on to the meld. And also, you keep your fingers crossed that they're not going to uh, put you right into an L-shaped ambush. The obvious thing would be to go on the roof, but with heavy floaters, that's no longer a really good idea, I feel. Will do. Okay, there's a Mel straight in front of us. And there is something either inside or on the roof. Two, three, five. I'm on the move. Yeah, something definitely. It could be on the roof. It is. We're, we're not really set up to fight them for it. But I would like that meld a lot. So we may have to go through this garage. See if we can pick up the meld the other side. I haven't brought any scouts. go there just in case it's a leviathan mectoid or something terrifying over there got it moving yes sir not too much opportunity for greenbow to get into this fight just yet affirmative moving out but we have been able to do a good run over here Give it. Oh shit, that's very quiet. I think we have a pod. We're going to have contact as soon as we open this door. There's a pod here. So we're going to have to get set up for it. Unless we want to try coming through two doors at once. I think we're going to do that. We're going to check to see what other fun things are around. It's still that five pod. You can't go over there, but you can go to this door. Heading to that location. Which does indicate that it might be safe over here. I don't know. Unless they're on the roof. Moving. 
Yeah, it looks like we might have a big battle for this meld, but we're going to have to get a move on. I also hope that I haven't been too clever here. Rolling out. Moving to position. I'm on it, Commander. Right, there's our setup. I don't know where the chem grenade should go, quite frankly. Mutons. Mutons of some flavour. And they're still standing there. We're going to wait one more turn. I think... Being really set up for this might be a really smart idea. If it's not Berserkers. We're going to have to push now. Otherwise we're not going to get that melt. Positive enemy contact. Okay. Well, that's a lot of bad guys, isn't it? Doesn't seem to be anything else here. The meld is over in this corner. We're going to have to try and kill these guys. And or try and capture them, which might be difficult. There's one there and one there, right? Tell me you can see the, uh, you can't see any of them. Shit. Um, that's a shame because I wanted to try and capture one of these guys. Or try to. Very much try to. going to have to suppress you because there's also one of them ran around this corner that's not so hot i don't like that at all can i panic it no that's fairly unlikely am i going to get myself into a position again where i'm taking a big risk to try and capture one of these things it's beginning to look like it isn't it Yeah, you're right there, aren't you? Am I going to be able to kill you this turn? I'm not sure unless I rapid fire you. Okay. And what do I do here? Do I launch a grenade? You're gonna you're gonna you're just gonna throw a grenade at us, aren't you? Aye, aye, 
Commander. I don't suppose I could get you with this chem grenade and get the berserker when he comes through that door. Could work. Don't know, he might come all the way around though. actually get a shot is the next question if i do a smoke that berserker is going to joyfully run into that smoke isn't he i'm gonna have to suppress him fuck i want this berserker He is acided. I hope that's enough. Moving. Let's try and get everybody. No retreat, no surrender. Not sure whether I want to use a command just yet. There now. If the berserker comes round, I want the berserker to hit Use me for cover. you, don't and not our squishy uh, <laughs> medic. another reason. The walls here are like paper. Oh shit, there's another one here. We're gonna have to get our asses in gear. One way or the other, we're gonna have to try and try a capture on this thing. You, you're gonna take two turns to run over there to do it though. And we shouldn't count our chickens. CCS, okay. Well, I said we're going to have to get a move on, and we are, but we're also going to have to get rid of this elite. On my way. I might really regret this. Right, you're going to have to run back. You still have cover. Oh, I am worried about it exploding on you. Maybe I should put you here for your next shot. Yeah, this whole wall is going to go. Your capturable territory now. But I have to suppress, that's for sure. I could throw another chem grenade. He's, I think he's going to be chemmed for another turn, I hope. I hope. Rolling out. Visual on the goods. If I put you there... We don't have too long to get that meld as well. 
panic him. Can you panic him? That would make things so much easier. Or do I just mind fray him? Right, now he's not going anywhere. Okay, run you back. I don't think that's considered a flank. Let's get you suppressing if we can. I'm on the move. It might be time to panic him, actually. No, I need to suppress him. Suppress. Light him up. This is taking too long. We here. may get some other friends coming in. Okay, we're going to have two chances at this guy, and then we're probably going to lose them out. Yeah, that one's almost timed out. In fact, yeah, okay, whatever. Here we go. I'm on the move. 99. It's one. It's still up. Target is still up. That's two. That's five mutant elite charges we've had so far without any luck. Try one more time. Great. It's taken six tries, but we're bringing one home. Awesome. Okay. Let's get ready for the next lot, who have been very quiet. So I'm assuming they're like seekers or something. Time to double. Because Chaos, we still have another pod around, and I don't want to activate it when we're here. It's very quiet, Chaos. That normally means robots, but it could be anything. And if we're trying to capture, I don't want Ethereal coming over. So, I know we're wasting time, a lot of time. But there's not much we can do about it. We need to not get anybody hurt. Moving to position. Especially since we've got Alien canister located. Our potential volunteer. Holy shit, you could go for it next time. Let's try that. <laughs> It's really fucking quiet. I don't get why there hasn't been somebody coming to find out what the hell's going on here. Understood. Moving out. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm rolling. Watch that meld time out. I think I heard something. It is seekers. Fuck, is that is there more meld around here? All that fuss over five meld, like I said. If that's seekers and there isn't any other more melds on the map, we might as well take our time here, right? Or are we going to reveal if we go in? Solid copy. Heading to that location. I'm on it, Commander. Moving out. Okay, let's see if we can get an Overwatch trap going. K 
chaos. You think there's another can around here? I didn't see any sound ping to tell me where it is. If there is, that would be a real fucking shame because we could get it. Yeah, I don't see it, Chaos. We'll have to wait for this turn and see if it gives us more info. That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, it was a shame to lose that one, but getting that mutant elite was probably a better idea. Let, let's see what happens. Hell yes. What have we got? Nothing really terrifying, it looks like. I know that's famous last words. Justice, can I get you a shot? Or a kill? Even better, can I... Oh, I don't reckon I can. They managed to hide behind these blocks. couple of them cloaked we might still be able to get a kill for you guys down here okay back online yeah it doesn't look like there's any more metal there Position confirmed. you missed that was not very smart of you Oh gosh. You're looking pretty. If we can paint it. I said if we can oh, paint it. Missed. This is probably going to kill it. No, nobody can shoot these that things. Is not good. Right, again, quite a straightforward one, all in all. Um, I'm glad to bring a little toy home with us as well. What should we do with that toy? Not a single casualty. I'm certainly impressed by our soldiers' combat abilities. You're going to get sharpshooter because you, their job is just basically going to sit in one place and shoot a lot. Kurgosh again, extra conditioning. And we've got alien heavy weapon. Let's start building something we straight away. Touch, We're getting some nice cash. There's like a heavy duty plasma weapon. Is it plasma dragon or plasma nova gun? I can't remember. Extended range. I think it's the plasma dragon that I'm looking at. It's really flipping expensive. I think so too, Justice. It's um it's been really straightforward touching wood so far. As I said, we're going to have a terror mission, and I expect that to change. 16 days. Right, let's let's do this. I would like another one of those plasma weapons too, but we'll see. 
Okay. We're still waiting for those terror missions right at the end of the month. That's another Archangel armor. Contact detected. Here we go. Right, I'm going to try and shoot this down. I've only got one, so this is probably not going to work. Well, 14 hours, 14, 49 hours. Flip. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take a few shots, run away, try and take some We're more shots. Activating satellite assisted targeting enabled. No, too slow. Holy fuck, I did it. Wow. Well, in that case, um, that's a big mission. Yes, that's going to be a big mission, and that's going to be lots and lots of nasty aliens. 47 is also almost max. Mectoids, chrysalids, muton elites. Yes, okay. Um, it's always nice to shoot those terror missions down, I tell you. Exactly, Bamboozle Belay. We might actually be able to get... Let me... Let me run this to Alien Command and Control. From Mexico for two scientists. You're dreaming, Mexico. Okay. This is, like I said, one of the last two techs we really need. It is chaos. It's, it's going to be a... Flipping massive mission, um, and it's a high risk one as well. I, I did one like a, a few streams ago. Gallop chamber, we can finally build the gallop chamber, and it does mean also that we could research again a hundred delirium. Geez, um, mind and machine. That means is that we, we need could to start working on the housing for this device as soon as possible. Stuff. Considering what we went through to get it, we should be making every effort to provide a secure location for its storage. We're really running down our Illyrium supplies too. But I think normally I get rid of alien containment if I'm going to build it. But what shall I get rid of now? The laboratory? I don't know. I could get rid of one of the workshops. Do I really need this fission generator? Probably. How how much how much power is it? I won't know until I actually remove this whether I've got enough power to build it or not. We'd need 48. 38? Shit. Give me one second. Before I do something permanent, I'm going to try and find out how much power the Gollop Chamber actually uses. There's a little app called XCOM Companion that's quite handy in keeping track of all this stuff. And as such, because I'm such a pro streamer, I haven't got it set up to show you guys. I should figure out how to do that next time I stream. Yeah, I agree, Chaos. I mean, if I get rid of one of the labs, I probably will only uh, increase the research by a couple of days. But let's see. It'd be nice not to suddenly find that I have to delete a whole bunch of buildings. Okay, it reckons that I need 35 power to do this. 35 power. An efficient generator gives us 8 power plus it's connected to something else. 35 power. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get rid of another building. I don't really need the alien containment anymore. 
you know? Not really. But I might get rid of the laboratory. And we could build a gullet chamber if we had a thousand space bucks. Yeah, it's 11 days. It's going to take three days longer now. But that's okay. I mean, you know, I, I don't really see the point of... Um, we're we're going to be trying to get somebody up to Scion level quite a lot. It's going to take a long time. So I think it's time to start selling all this crap we have. That's probably enough already. There. I'm not sure, but we don't have enough Illyrium to build the Vortex armor anyway. We're, we're going to have to get some more Illyrium, probably from this mission. And on that hype note, I reckon we'll call it a day there. This is a mega huge mission, and I don't have time to play it this afternoon. It's uh, it's time for roast beef to go out and look at the sun a bit, and maybe touch some grass. Uh, and uh, yeah, and on that high point, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Saturday. I think you're probably just starting your Saturday, if I if I know where all of you are from. Um, and hope to see you all again soon. Is anybody else playing Long War? Shall we try and raid somebody?